All right, buddy. Got all done. Too wee, I'm tired. That's okay. I like this. So, all right. These beams right here on the bottom are 80 inches a pop. Three by three by 80 inches. All of those are 80 inches. Every one of them are 80 inches, okay? The only thing that's not 80 inches is these. These are 74, 74, 74, 74, 74. I initially was going to put just these here, there, there, and up there even. But after I looked at it and I started really doing the math on it, it's really unnecessary. So what I did was just put the two there, pop those up. Those three, four up on the top there. So basically two feet and change width is what they are. So what I could do is um, I can lay this sheet here down. Before I would always take the sheets and I would like cut them up basically and I'd have to like make them be wide enough essentially which is stupid so I'm tired of doing that so I went ahead and just sprung for a 10 gauge uh, 6 by 10 10 gauge so I think it comes with 72 inches if I'm not mistaken um, yeah, yeah whatever so 72 inches is what that thing is and this is 74 inches so I'll have one inch on each side um, and then I can build the water pan on the inside of it uh, the water pan will be built that's another mistake I made. I accidentally bought a four inch by, um, I think it's four by three or something of that, na that nature. Right there. Anyways, um, oh, look yeah, four by three. Hey, I was right. So four by three, what I should have bought was a six by three. And what I could have done is just sunk all this stuff down in it and done it that way and had a six inch water bed. It's kind of what I was actually wanting, but then after I went back over to my CAD, my design that I've whipped up in uh, Fusion 360, I discovered that, uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't pay enough close enough attention, but it's not that big of a deal. Let's see if I can, there's some old precision plasma stuff right there. Yeah, those are all old precision plasma gantry things. Um, Fusion 360 has closed itself. Okay, well, never mind. But we'll show you any of that, but. Yep, Pro Pulse is absolutely stomping it. Initially, I was doing like 220 inches per minute on um, 0.125, uh, 3035. I, I just was not moving fast enough. I definitely have some um, welds here that I should have went slower on. I got it. I understand. I know. Um, I get it. I don't really, like, I get it. Like, it's not, this isn't aerospace here, you know, so. Um, some of them are not bad looking. Some of them are pretty good. Some of them, again, are pretty quick. And that's why I bumped it up to that 300 and plus inches per minute. And I'm right under the hair of jumping to the next uh, settings there in the Synergic um, settings and stuff. I still got so much welding to do. Uh, so much more welding to do. Because I need to flip it over to Pulse to do the um, underside on a lot of this stuff. So this all needs some Pulse welds on it. I tried to do everything in the flat position, of course, because, well, when you don't weld as often as I do, you are not as good at it. So he'll have that. But there you go. Enjoy. Thank y'all. All right. So I have to install this today. Didn't really expect to have to install this, but I uh, made a great mistake yesterday. Like a goober. I'm over here doing a tap, and I've never used this tap before, and it failed. Oh like oh gosh i wish i could just drill beside it and tap it and be done with it but i just, i know i can't that'll drive me insane so i'm gonna fix that here's all the next ones all the little dots i've already made for everything that need to be done and then th that thing was perfectly squared i mean it was on there just money tight i mean it was perfect and now it's not so there's that so yeah, hopefully with this one, this side here, I mean, for once, I think I actually got a pretty daggone straight piece of cold roll for once. Um, so that's definitely positive. So, uh, get to work. I didn't record a lot of this because it's pretty boring. So, uh, drilled all these holes. So I cut this off right here. Um, drilled every hole. This is like five and a half inches if I'm not mistaken. This is three inches. So if you split the difference, it's two and change or whatever, two and three quarters. So I lined up the two and three quarters line with the inch and a half line right there. 
so I made sure it was all pretty much on the line there um, got a really good fit got it really feeling good honestly um, smooth rides really smooth on the gantry here I had to have my neighbor come over and help me out just really really nice really nice um, knocked out those two holes just now obviously um, I do have some interference down here on the side because I this walked on me a little bit whenever I uh, welded it so therefore whenever it did that it didn't um, exactly stay the straightest with me so it is what it is huh. I think I had that on the last one and no more for that um, really really straight cold rolls I'm talking I've never had cold rolls this straight before I'm impressed I really am impressed I even laid them on their side spun them just to see what I'm looking at you know how straight they were and I'm really impressed uh, put the 10 gauge um, water bed on the bottom of it there I haven't put the water bed on yet um, I haven't started working on it yet because I don't really it's it's kind of a mindless task it's going to be a lot of welding a lot of dumbness so um, I need to uh, put on the uh, the side over here so I can put the um, the piece on to make it where the where all the uh, electronics are going to sit in the tray so I can get that done as well but a lot of great progress today that's that good evening everybody or afternoon or whatever it may be to you so cut up all the slats cut up all the pieces had some mold left over from another project a little half by half I think or such there so what I did was I took it and I welded them directly to that obviously as you can tell some of them two inch some of them four inch some of them three inch whatever kind of whatever I felt like I think I'm gonna be short like three or four and then once that's done I still have to weld the back side of this right here let's put all that underneath there get that over with uh, a lot of welding I've ran out of <laughs> I've ran through a lot of weld wire a lot a lot of weld wire so all the electronics are sitting there ready to rock and roll so done really well with all of this Pro Pulse has just been killing it on three phase 480 so feels good uh, some of those welds are sloppy then again it doesn't really matter to me it's just gonna be slapped in there so yep just gonna get back to welding and that's a wrap all right so a lot of progress has been made so still need a, a lot of work left to do on this thing I um, I don't have a few things fighting me on this table okay so obviously yes since I recorded this last I have the water bed in I have all that stuff done everything there's completed what I've been running up against here basically with this whole table is that my gearing ratio is off in the Y1 Y2 and then in the uh, X so the X goes across right it's left to right so I actually got the Y1 Y2 completely in tune and that means the cards and everything are correct everything there is correct I say the cards I mean the drivers so there's drivers in these things and what it'll allow you to do is to set it to how many revolutions 3200 stuff like that different things so what I'm trying to do is get this stinking thing to cut two inches by two inches hence all the little squares and rectangles and what have you I've put in there so that's what it is so far um, it's just been I mean I've gotten really really close really 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 nice but I'm still no dice so trying to work with it working with this uh, power max 125 has been interesting you see all my different little test pieces I've cut right there uh, my circles were not circles they're ovals and look like crap and that's actually the last one right there um, here so this one like this is what it started out as because one of the I just you got to know your machine so that on that side this on that side was all kinds of incorrect and wrong so had to take it take it apart put it back together get it really tight get it right and then it just clean cleared it up immediately then I discovered that uh, the gearing was wrong so then it was cutting wrong and trying to do wrong and then I discovered that this one here was loose as well so I had to take it tighten it up put it in correctly uh, make sure everything in it with it is being right um, making sure everything has just been put in together 
correctly and slowly. Um, this is the same thing I did with my last tables, same thing I've done with all the other tables. It's just uh, since I haven't been cutting in what feels like, I don't know, a year or two, um, or a year actually, uh, has been definitely one of those. You gotta wake up and do it right. Also, my goodness, I also don't have genuine consumables, which really frustrates me. I don't cut usually with anything other than genuine consumables. And I have a couple consumables, but even with these, I mean, I, ugh, they've seen better days. We got one here, it's a nice one, right? 45, 65, yeah, like I got a couple of them, they're pretty nice. And either these product numbers have been updated and they haven't updated them with this, like with this sticker right here. It's even like some of my corresponding numbers are not correct either. So that's frustrating. So again, many little things just to figure out and fix and make right. But just getting there slowly, very, very slowly. It's been very, um, a little bit frustrating. But even like, even like the, 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 the plasma cutter, the torch even for that matter, it's just so different it's not like the 85 the 85 i felt like i had everything already pretty much tuned out and right and correct this 125 is not and it's not correct and when you're dealing with the wrong variables and the wrong gears and the wrong drives and the wrong everything you're gonna have that you're gonna have things that are incorrect so other than that that's about all i really have for now i'm gonna keep on keep it on on trying to you know cut and cut and do and cut so other than that it's just boring repetitiveness so I'll get on that right now. Thank you all.